guys, welcome to another DVD unboxing and today we're DVD unboxing the, my complete Transformers collection. These are all the movies they did and we're going to be unboxing them today. I will be looking out for Transformers Rise of the Beasts when it comes out on digital or if it gets released on Sky or something like that but uh, yeah. So let's get rid of them for now. First we're unboxing the original Transformers 3 movie set trilogy. It's got Transformers, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and Transformers Dark of the Moon. That's my favourite one. Underrated opinion, but that is actually the most trans the Transformers movie I've most rewatched in out all of them. The first one's good, but I wouldn't recommend Age of Extinction or The Last Night. Those are terrible. So first of all, we have twelve. It's a twelve. This these came in two thousand seven, two thousand eight or nine, and then two thousand twelve. It's a twelve side. Back. I think those are the um, Decepticons, and then we've got the. Uh, I'm not a huge Transformers fan, so I don't know the name of that. I think those are the Decepticons. Yeah, don't know. Anyway, I think those are the Decepticons. I know Decepticons are bad, so <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's a 12. Mod contains moderate action, violence, and sex, and one use of strong language. First of all, we got Transformers. This came in 2007, it's a 12. Side, back. Pictures, description. It's on for 138 minutes and it's a 12. Contains moderate action violence. This one's got a good storyline to it and it's got very good CGI and action, but it is a little slow paced and a little bit boring for me. The first one is a good watch. If you want to start the Transformers series, then obviously watch this one, but still not the best movie down to you know not even megan fox could save that movie <laughs> i'm just gonna be completely honest the first one wasn't that good <sighs> especially the second one the second one is trash okay just oh I, mean, I don't even think it's an important movie the second one so if you want to watch a transformers movie watch dark of the moon i'm telling you you'll love it anyway this is the second one it's a 12 side back description pictures it's on for 144 minutes and it's a 12 contains moderate action violence language sex and drug references a lot of these movies are hit or miss there's only two of them that are hits like ones that i really enjoyed Next up is probably the best one out of the whole franchise. Transformers Dark of the Moon. It's 12. Side. Back. Description. Pictures. Special features. It's a 12. It's 148 minutes. Contains moderate action violence and one use of strong language. This one also has the best villain in it as well. I can never remember his name. Name. It was in Scream 3 as a detective, I don't know. And Bridget Jones Baby and <laughs> Transformers, that's the disc. Pretty blah disc for a blah franchise. <laughs> Sadly, that one is the best, but Megan Fox wasn't in that one, so that's a bit of a not good scenario. <laughs> next up here, this came in 2018. This is Bumblebee. That's the next Transformers movie that we got after that original trash trilogy this is actually this might be one of my favorites I, th I mean i know it's not really properly a transformers movie it's not even part of the same universe but and it's not canon to the whole transformers trilogy piece of trash but um i like it what everybody says i don't i don't care i, I love this movie great great intro and gr just great movie even Haley steinfeld's great in this yeah it's pg side Pictures, special features, description. It's on for 109 minutes and it's a PG. Moderate fantasy violence, mild, th mild threat, sex references, and drew detail language. I still kept the receipt for it. Got that on the 15th of August 2022. That's the disc. 
I have rewatched this like twice, so I thought it's great. Next up, we have this on Blu ray uh, Transformers Age of Extinction. It's a 12, this came in 2050. Oh, yeah, those came that came before Bumblebee, didn't it? But anyway, it doesn't really matter, it's still a Transformers collection. Anyway, it's 12 side back over three hours of a special features longer than the freaking movie <laughs> no i can't say that the movie was overly long pictures description special features i don't know how long it's on for though oh yeah 187 minutes oh god it don't need to be that long moderate action violence and frequent strong language disc one see a robot dragon yeah why i don't know but i think they're just trying to sell us on the movie yeah this movie was crap i don't know why they introduced mark Wahlberg into it as well that's also not part of the um transformers universe it's like a complete different universe And then next up is Transformers The Last Night. Uh, I haven't watched this, but I know it's going to be rubbish because that one was. And I haven't watched all of that. That was just, I couldn't. <laughs> it was on one night and I was just, I, I said I was going to watch it all. But it was like gone 11 when I finished watching it. So <laughs> that was years ago though. <laughs> it's a 12 side. But pictures. The best transfer. You're having a laugh. It's on for 148 minutes. Even that's too long. 12. Moderate action violence, moderate bad language. Disc. In the last night. Oh, wait, that says Age of Extinction. Oh, yeah, I forgot to return it. And get a, I don't even know why I need a last night. Anyway, thank you for watching me Transformers collection.